Today on Logan Lee Adventures, we explore the neighborhood of Palermo, Hollywood, which is filled with fantastical street art, and I meet up with my friends to show you around what life is like here in Buenos Aires. Bon dia! It's another gorgeous day in Buenos Aires, and we're going to be exploring today Palermo, Hollywood, which is another section of Palermo. Uh, from It's like 10 minutes walk from Palermo Soho if you checked out Palermo Soho in my other adventure vlog before. And I really want to explore this morning, really like the whole day, and spend it in Palermo, Hollywood because there's a lot to see and do. Let's go. I feel like, you know, you know, Palermo is the hippest, hottest neighborhood in the city. I mean, there's so many awesome neighborhoods in Buenos Aires, but Palermo is like where it's at. And then on top of it, Palermo, like Hollywood is like a lot of nightlife, a lot of like boutiques, a lot of, of course, cafes and restaurants and street art. There's street art everywhere. Whoop, whoop, look at that. I'm feeling that. Like this whole block is just murals after murals. So cool. And it makes the city and the whole neighborhood just pop with so much color. Actually, these murals go into the Mercado de la Plugas. Plugas. <laughs> so that is the kind of like this antique market that I really want to check out as well. And then probably after checking that out, let's go, let's go for food. Or should we grab food first? Can we grab food first? No, we'll just go in. We'll just go in. It's right here. And then we'll grab food. Food is always on my mind. I mean, like, I need breakfast. Okay, this is so cool. This is a huge warehouse of antiques. Wow. And then there's more art inside of the warehouse. Look at this. Look at this. The fact that there's a whole booth from London that you can buy here. I mean, can we open it? Oh, okay. <laughs> and there's a tuk-tuk. And all these different little statues and things from Asia. Unless you want a barber chair too. Okay. So there's like all these dolls around. It's like a labyrinth in here. It's definitely the place to go if you are looking for treasures, treasure hunting. So many things to thrift here. So many gorgeous. Ooh. This is beautiful. Look at this. What? I love this rainbow. Okay, this is definitely creepy. This display case of all these dolls. One could definitely get lost in here because there's so much things to see. I wish I actually lived here because some of these furniture pieces are stunning and I would have bought them in a heartbeat but can't ship this all the way back to the Netherlands. Look at that red chair. I want so many things I want here.
Okay, I'm obsessed. I need these. I need this. I need this. I want this. Like all the leather trunks come home with me. They're so beautiful. I absolutely love these mornings where we just roam around, explore the neighborhoods. Honestly, I can do it. Whoop, look at that. <laughs> I can just do it. For, whoop, okay. <laughs> like every single day. And then just see these like cool things I just wouldn't expect. <laughs> just exploring the neighborhood and pass by this bakery called Salvaje. <laughs> it's apparently like they make really great sourdough breads, which is really rare in Buenos Aires. Yes, the sourdough vibe has not come through here yet. But every single time I pass by this bakery, it is hot. So I decided, I was like, okay, you know what? I'm just wandering around the neighborhood this morning in Palermo, specifically Palermo, Hollywood this morning. So, and then I came by here just as it opened and I grabbed a seat. And already, as you can see, there's people lining up to get it to go. People are already sitting down. More people coming in. There's some pastries to start off our adventure in the day today and it looks so outrageously good, okay? Look at this. This one is, so both of them are the classic media luna, which is, I would say, the favorite Argentinian local pastry. It looks like a croissant, but they're sweeter, they're sweeter. Uh, they're puffy, I mean, yeah, it's like a croissant, but don't call it a croissant. Because uh, they're sweet. And, but to add to that sweetness, we have the. This, oh my god, it's so beautiful. This one is a dolce gabache, which is, you know, like Buenos Aires' most favorite popular flavor for anything ice cream, desserts, and of course in media lunas, sprinkled with. Uh, icing, uh, sugar, uh, powdered sugar, and then this one has uh, just cream. Oh, oh boy, ah, I'm not wasting no. I'm not wasting no. No, no, that cream is that cream is good. Cream is good. It's like a little lemony. It's a nice cream. All right, just finished with breakfast with those yummy yummy spray You could see how packed the bakery is now and I'm just gonna go and continue my walk exploring through Palermo, Hollywood and already we're greeted with cool street art more murals everywhere flying pigs cool horses okay we're all, all down this block what? I love this <laughs> This is gorgeous. A whole mural Freda Cajo. Wow. And the heart. Alchemy is this ice cream parlor slash bar slash cafe with a really cool chemistry theme going on even to the point where look at this on the wall are drawings like Da Vinci <laughs> it's so cool such a cool setup like the skulls here
Wow, that's really good. Yeah. It's like subtle enough, but you can still taste like the flavor yeah. of a pearl spritz. Mm. There's another one that I really like. It's not here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so I have to come back. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to try batata, which is sweet potato. I'm telling you, these flavors I've never heard of. Thank you. Mm. Oh wow, yeah. Almost just the pie, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. I swear I'm going to get something. <laughs> There's just so many flavors to try. This is tahini. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've never heard of gelato cheese before, like cheese flavored gelato, and I'm gonna try this one. And I don't. This one is like more. I'm feeling this is like the easy beginner level because yeah. there's like blue yeah. cheese flavor. Yeah. yeah. That's too much. Yeah. For me. <laughs> that thing for me too. Like regular blue cheese. Yeah. Okay. Mm. You like it? I actually do. You know what? That was unexpected. I actually do. Okay, I'm gonna get that one. I'm gonna okay. get that one in the passion fruit. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that was a, that was surprising. Yeah. <laughs> I landed on my two flavors after trying about the seven flavors. Um, we got it. We got it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> As you know, we have a Hollywood, a Soho, and now a Williamsburg in Buenos Aires. <laughs> I mean, all the cool places in one city. Why travel far? <laughs> this is actually a really cool area where there's a lot of different bars and restaurants, as well as terrace spaces, just right under this red brick bridge. It's free, and then it connects this towards the park that I'm heading towards now. This is a beautiful day for a stroll, but also this is making me hungry. I know what's new, I'm always eating, but pretty cool. So beautiful. Love this area. Then you can see the arch of the bridge here. Now from Williamsburg's Bridge restaurant, I've reached what is considered like the lungs of the city because of this huge, vast green space. And it's often called by locals Bosque de Palermo. So Palermo's Forest. I know Palermo is such a huge neighborhood because this is, I'm very proud I get to live in this neighborhood. But I live in Palermo, Soho. And this is another side of Palermo. I guess on the other side. It's not that far of a walk. It was like half an hour something walk. Gorgeous walk through the city. This park, I guess you would say, is like the central park of Buenos Aires. It's just huge, vast. We're gonna explore a little bit of it because I'm just gonna walk through, but there's just so many different sections and areas to walk through. So, oh, the train is running over the Williamsburg's bridge. I know that's not the name of the, of the bridge, but you know Williamsburg. You know, you get the reference, you get the reference. 
Ooh, look at this. All these swans and ducks by the lake. I'm gonna go up to them. This is a very famous landmark bridge in the park. So everybody would know this white bridge with all these little paddle boaters down there. This is such a beautiful passageway, especially right beside the lake. And we're heading into the Rose Garden as well. <sighs> it's so serene here. I can see why the locals just go on a run here, skateboard, bike rides around. <sighs> and just to be surrounded by all this beauty, I mean, what like what a cosmopolitan city to have it all here I also underestimated when they say rose garden because this rose garden is Humongous. It's like the size of freaking Marie Antoinette's garden at Versailles, this gross garden. And it's divided into different sections so you can see it's really well planted out. So we have like the red rose section, the pink rose. This is like a nice blushy color. <laughs> Then you have this section of the park dedicated to statuettes heads of dead white men. I love old dead white men everywhere. This city is just seriously like an urban fairy tale. With spots like that, oh my goodness, I can just see myself standing there waiting for the rain to pass by. <laughs> Not that it has been raining at all because this has been so beautifully, gorgeously sunny and blue skies. <laughs> but that gazebo, this this river location, goodness. Mind you that it is autumn in Buenos Aires right now and these are the beautiful in bloom flowers, trees everywhere for autumn. Like it's about maybe a month and a half until winter and oh, I mean this is my favorite season I guess universally well what for a reason. I'm just gonna hop down this cobblestone pathway. Wow. Right now we're doing a little picnic day in the the Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have Valentina and Valentina. I met Valentina in um, Chinatown. Uh, if you remember that from the coffee shop there. And then I just met Valentina too uh, from Valentina. <laughs> and now we're having a picnic. And what, yeah. okay, wait, wait, what do we have? What do we have? Okay. Um, so, so this oh. is a Easter egg. Yeah. That we smashed. Dulce de leche. That's like the favorite flavor, right? Argentina. Of Argentina, yeah. Pancakes. Ooh, pancakes. <laughs> nice. Um, Okay. Oh, okay. 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 It's kind of okay. I mean, it's like banana bread, but banana. Not, it's not banana bread. What's the name? In Argentina, we call it bullying. Bullying. With the tea and brownie. And brownie. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I'm gonna smash this. Like this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Three. What is it? Five plus. Italian, but I love the kitchen. 
<laughs> That's the best life. Okay, so Valentina's grandmother yeah. to Abuela <laughs> made the chocolate egg and then the the cake. Um, her father made. Yeah, mi papa. <laughs> <laughs> I love the social scene in Buenos Aires because it's so easy to meet up with friends and hang out Whereas in the Netherlands, I find that the norm is planning weeks in advance Leaving very little room for spontaneity Whereas here, my friends and I literally can just text each other day of And just meet up so easily Like right now, we're going for a picnic in the park And then uh, we head to the museum Which is like a whole day basically Well, a few hours Can't wait to explore the Malba. It's such a gorgeous museum. Holy smokes. It's the modern art museum of showcasing Latin American art. Then after the museum, I said bye to Valentina and Valentina and continue my exploration and ventures around Palermo, Hollywood. Right, okay, I'm gonna step back across the street because I have to show you how cool this mural is. Look at the ball, look at the ball, look at the ball. It's, it's Batman <laughs> with like his little enemies. <laughs> so cool. So this is what I mean, like just art, street art everywhere in Palermo, Hollywood. I mean, the, 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 Probably why Palermo is my one of my favorite neighborhoods in Buenos Aires are cobblestone streets, well preserved, like long, gigantic trees that covers them and just gives such a picturesque neighborhood feeling. I mean, it's the biggest neighborhood in the city, but it just feels so quaint and like a little neighborhood, a little town actually within the bigger city. I can get anywhere within this neighborhood within walking distance so easily because the blocks are like this, so easy to walk and everything is really well connected here. So uh, I just can't stop gushing about this neighborhood. <laughs> This is exactly what I mean by these tree-lined streets. <sighs> Appreciation and limited, limitless love. I'm like, Logan, this is a Palermo Hollywood vlog day, not a tree vlog day. But come on, this is, this is pretty cool. Like, they just, I feel like other cities, they may chop that down and they prune that, but here they just let that tree grow and be stunning. And to be fair, trees are such a major part of Palermo, so I cannot not feature it. Anana? Si. Y framboesa. Si. <laughs> I was feeling for some gelato and I always pass by this gelateria in my neighborhood, but I never have got the chance to go in until now. And literally, I was ordering like three flavors and it's about one euro fifty, which is crazy. But they gave me this whole gigantic tub. Look at this! 
This is so awesome. So I got strawberry, I got mango slash uh, shoot, passion fruit, and pineapple. And then since this is only 1 euro 50 for this huge tub of ice cream that I'm getting to go, I went back. Well, I didn't even go back. I like literally stood here and was like, um, can I get one more of these? And he is piling it up with lemon. Oh, there it is. <laughs> with pretzels, <laughs> with lemon pie, banana split, and cocoa split flavor. So I'm just gonna store this at home in my freezer and then just Netflix and literally chill the night away. <laughs> this is so freaking awesome. They also do a kilogram of ice cream tub for six euros. Like look at all that gelato, a whole freaking kilogram of it. And only six euros, look at that. There's a big misconception that Buenos Aires isn't safe, that petty crime is rampant, but in these vlogs that I'm making, I hope I can show you another side of Argentina's capital. To me, when I first moved to Buenos Aires, I remember actually being so paranoid because of what I heard, only using my phone whenever I pop into a store, and I never held it out onto the street. But of course, one should always be vigilant no matter where they are, whether you know, you're in New York or even some corners of the Netherlands. Whenever I'm walking in Palermo, Hollywood, I am just taking a little stop, taking a little break, and then just looking at the murals on the street because there's just so many around, like just fantastic art right on the street. That you can't help but like to stop and be like, what's that? And see all the little details in it. But when it comes to the streets of Buenos Aires, I hope you can see how many locals are just walking around freely, out and about. I mean, I'm doing this and bike riding, strolling with their dogs. And my local Porteño friend, Alvarez, told me that if you ever get spooked or feel paranoid, just remember that every single block has a little convenience store that throughout the night, the light will be emitting and shining from it, even out onto the street corners. So let those convenience stores be your little lighthouse guides. And when he pointed that out to me, my worries back on my first day in Buenos Aires really dissipated. How do I sum up autumn in Palermo, in Buenos Aires? Well, you have to look up and this is how I would describe it. Sweater weather, beautiful crunchy <laughs> leaves to walk through and just beautiful change of colors all around. As night falls, I meet up with my local Argentinian friend Matthew for some all-you-can-eat barbecue, Korean barbecue in the neighborhood. Words cannot describe how excited I am. I've been looking forward to this meal like all day. What not a lot of people know about Buenos Aires is that there's a big Korean population here that goes back generations. This is my teaser for the next vlog because while I'm having Korean barbecue in Palermo, Hollywood today, I'll show you around next time as I explore the capital's Koreatown. We also have kimchi soup if you want. We make it by order, so if you want, it's spicy kimchi. Okay. Yes, okay. So we have. These plates are already cooked yes. and these are for cooking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm out for dinner with my friend Matty in Guillermo and we're checking out, so this is your first time at this specific Our place. first time. Yeah, Our both of us. Both of our first time here at this Korean barbecue place. It looks so good. Look at this. Look at this bread. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to try it. Yes. <laughs> I absolutely love this because we order so much food and Argentinians know how to do meat properly and good. So combining that with Korean barbecue is like a marriage match made in heaven. 
And because Korean barbecue always gets 12 to 8 hot, you can see Maddie's always taking off his jacket. I'm gonna take off this. Because we're gonna be like smelling a barbecue after this. Sizzling. It's very hot. It's very hot. Honestly, thank God for Korean barbecue side dishes or else I would not have any veggies in so long. When was the last time that I've had veggies that you've seen me with veggies? I don't know. Did you get the but veggies? Here. Oh, here. <laughs> it's like some... It was right beside you. <laughs> See, Maddie doesn't need veggies either. Okay, okay. <laughs> I have kimchi. Okay, okay. Uh, kimchi counts. Kimchi counts. But finally, some greens. We then got some. <laughs> Y'all, we're adding kimchi soup to our meal after we like this is like third, fourth round. I'm going until yeah, yeah. Like I'm gonna be rolled home. <laughs> Me too. No, I want to walk. I want to walk. Okay. I really want to walk. <laughs> Mad Maddie is dedicated, yes. <laughs> but I'm I'm too lazy. <laughs> Mm, just the right amount of spice. It's actually so good. Alright, this is a look of literally it's 1 a.m. and we are finished at 1 a.m. I'm so full. Like it was all you can eat and so delicious such high quality cuts of meat but I don't know how I'm gonna get home because my rib literally feels like it's gonna pop out that's how full I am oh my god why did I eat that much so worth it though so full officially dying from overeating but give this vlog a like if you haven't already leave me a comment below and hit subscribe we have one more buenos aires adventure in the next vlog coming your way yep that unfortunately means that my time after three months living in buenos aires while working remote here is coming to an end but this is just the beginning love your loki bears <laughs>